welcome back everyone this is mr brain your friendly neighborhood gaming dad here with another video and this is going to be a games mecha game mechanics video as we've gotten a couple of new infantry heroes that we now have full access to that have shields now robert's shield here is about 2400 as chances are you're going to get it about once in eight to ten seconds and then you've got eddie's who gives a 2500 shield factor shield about every eight to ten seconds depending on your skill cycle so i thought to myself we really don't know how shields work what affects them and how we can boost their effectiveness in combat so i set out to figure out how to do that and while i was testing i completely forgot to bookmark my reports so i spent the last 20 minutes retesting everything to make sure I covered all of my bases and all of my reports were right up at the top. So we're just going to get into it. I'm going to go over the reports, how I set up my tests so that you can recreate this and maybe do some additional testing for yourself if you think I missed something. So let's get started. I started off with a zombie that I can easily get to without a lot of hassle that I'm not going to kill quickly if I use a low amount of troops. Level 27 zombie, pretty standard. I started off with just Rigoro by himself, because I wanted a high shield factor that I could easily run the math off of. Or at the very least, look and see a sizable difference between my variables. So let's take a look. I ran 50,000 tier 5 infantry, for the very first control run and here's his skill going off if you scroll down you can see the amount of damage that it absorbs 49,392 troops produced a shield that could absorb 995,000 damage almost a million it's nothing to scoff at that can take a pretty sizable skill damage hit but how can we boost that what numbers affect that, if any? So, I started running Rigoro with different heroes that boost different stats very noticeably. The first one I did was attack. And I'll admit, I did attack this time because I knew it affected it because of my last tests, but I didn't actually take a look to see how much. And if you look, you can see a Dutz perseverance kicking in for a 40% squad attack buff as well as an additional 8% for being in combat I still have that particular skill low I think it's nope nope queen of arms 8% I think it's at level 3 So we got that 48% buff, and you can see right here, 49,403 troops produced a shield that can absorb 1,158,000. That is about a 16% increase, or about a third of the buff. 48% buff produced a 16% increase in damage. I did not test to see if reducing my current infantry buffs would affect that in any way, but that's been my general rule of thumb for T5, is any buff to attack power I can get is going to be about a third of that in increase to damage. And defense works alternatively to that. But that's still something that affects it. Without changing the troops all that much, we gave this a 16% buff to shield absorption. Now let's see if there's anything else that affects it. Intuitively, you would think that defense or HP would affect this in some way. Now we have Rigoro, uh, Rigoro Thunder. Thunder gives a 30% increase to squad HP. We should be able to see about a 10% increase to shield absorption if I'm correct. Now, granted, the defense is in there, so it'd be about a 13, but there's nothing. There's more troops this time around than there were in the control group, 
but there's no sizable increase to shield absorption. So we can definitively say that at the very least, HP doesn't affect it. But because it's only a 10% increase to defense, I wanted to double check with defense. So I ran a dut first. Since I know what the amount is for her attack buff, and I know there's a 30% defense buff whenever she goes first, I should see a sizable difference over 1,158,000. However, oh, sorry, Rigoro skill went second. 40%, 8%. 30% squad defense. I even have an additional skill damage of 7.5%. Nothing. There's actually less shield there than there was in the previous run. So defense and HP don't touch this at all. Now I know it says I already tested for skill damage, but I wanted to separate it. So I ran with Lewis who boosts skill damage, we should be able to see a sizable change from the control group if skill damage affects us at all. However, it does not. So already I'm seeing, I'm a little bit sad that there isn't more that affects this stat wise, but we do have something that can change the number. We have attack power. Which is pretty cool, because as strong as some of the infantry commanders can be, we have a couple of ways to increase our attack power, which will in turn increase our defense. I also did one separate run with Elena, because I'm just for shits and giggles, I wanted to see if basic attack damage affected this at all. I didn't think it did. And I was right. Still sitting just under a million, boosting basic attack damage did nothing to this. Now, the last two checks that I did were fairly basic checks, but again, things you want to know. I ran 70,000 tier 5 troops. Does that increase the shield? But if you've ever been in a rally or a garrison against a Rigoro, you know that to be the case. Increasing the amount of troops that I had by 40% increased the amount of shield produced by almost by over 20%. More troops, more shield, that just makes sense. So number of troops definitely matters here. Which is good. If you can put more troops on the field, you're going to absorb more damage, which means that in the beginning of combat, shield users are ridiculously bulky. And the last test that I ran, because I still had some leftover tier 4 from creating them for the last top commander, I ran 50,000 tier 4. And coming on down here, we'll see that there was a major de decrease in the amount of damage, which makes sense. Tier 4 troops do not have the same attack power as Tier 5 troops. So while Rigoro can still absorb a significant amount of damage, the tier of troop, the amount of troop, and the attack does matter. All things that come with time. And that's all the tests that I've run. I am still working out exactly how the damage is calculated. However, one thing you can do to see how much damage, say, your Eddie or your Robert is going to be able to do is the number for the shield factor is one of the last numbers in the equation. I did figure that out. If you divide the shield factor by... 9600 in this case. That is the base amount of damage that the shield will be able to absorb. If you change no other stats, actually, you can run Rigoro with Eddie, with Robert, to test this. When his shield activates, it will be literally a quarter of the damage absorbed 
of Regoros. No other changes, which makes sense, but still something I wanted to double check. So if you're used to seeing a million damage absorbed from Rigoro, you're going to get about 250,000 shield from Robert. And about the same from Eddie as well, because his is 2,500 shield capacity. Well, I hope this video was informative for you. If you have any additional questions on shield and how it functions, please let me know. If I don't know, I'd be more than happy to figure it out for you all. Um, and I'm still working on how the damage is calculated. Anytime I try to run the numbers, I come up with something extremely minuscule, and I don't know how it got there. So bear with me while I figure that out. But hopefully this helps you plan for the future with running these new heroes. Rigoro, Eddie, and Robert are going to hopefully change how shields are presented on the battlefield in the near future with the upcoming island raid in a couple of weeks. As promised, to if you managed to watch this far, Pyrohans, I can make you famous. Promised I'd come back to this, and here I did. And with that, if you're just now watching this video, just know you could have gotten this content 24 hours sooner over on my Patreon page. I drop everything over there exactly a day before it's released on YouTube, so head on over to Patreon. You can get this content a little bit earlier than everybody else. With that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.